All right. Welcome everybody to Power Hour. It is July 2nd. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. We had an absolute amazing, very special June uh, as an organization. And I want to thank everybody who has been pushing and fighting and scrapping for the last six months. Uh, as a team, our efforts have been recognized. It's pretty amazing being able to uh, keep and sustain the growth that we have been doing for the last six months. And I uh, appreciate everybody's efforts uh, for pitching in and kicking in the last day of the month. Uh, it's pretty amazing to see. I know a lot of people are on vacation. I know there's a typical slowdown that occurs throughout the summer months, and we did not experience that slowdown. We pushed through that, and that's a testament to you all. So, uh, my hat's off to you all for the impact that you're making. That's very, very powerful. So Power Hour, what is it? Uh, for the folks that are new, what we typically do with Power Hour is it is a place where people that are brand new can come on and ask questions. Being able to be mentored, uh, figure out what the uh, business is all about, how to go about doing it. And uh, we've been doing this now since, uh, I guess we got started in December, beginning part of December. Uh, so we've now been going for seven months doing that. So it's time for a little change. We're gonna change it up a little bit for Power Hour. Uh, a lot of y'all saw a video that I did and sent out, I guess it was yesterday, seems like so long ago, but uh, it was yesterday, July, uh, January, January, July 1st, and um, it's had a lot of views already. It was a 12 minute video. If you haven't seen that, uh, we'll make sure that that gets posted out uh, on here. Somebody might have that link and wants to put it on there. But make sure you watch that if you haven't seen it yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame up what I discussed in that. I'm not going to repeat myself in that. You can watch the video for it. But what we're going to focus on here, and we're going to do this for the foreseeable future, is that it's not about information. Okay, that's the first point I want to make today. There is plenty of information that's out there. Everything you need to know about this business is laid out crystal clear and you can literally go through and watch months and months and months of videos as we have done this power hour at least twice a week and a lot of times for uh, three times a week for a very long time. A lot of years of experience being poured in to what it is that we do. If it was about information, all you'd need is the internet and every single one of us would be completely perfectly in shape, we'd all be wealthy and we'd all be beautiful because it's about information. It's not about information. It is about action. It is about discovering information for yourself. I can tell you all day long. I can talk about it on Power Hour every single week. But until you actually experience the information yourself, then you don't have it yet. It's just more information. It goes in one ear and out the other. It's fun, that's great, whatever. But it's not being applied. If something's applied, then it's actually retained. And then once it's been retained, then it can be taught to the next person. So what I wanna do, and what we're going to do for Power Hour, is that we are going to turn it into, not necessarily an accountability call. What I wanna turn it into is a true review session. We talk a lot, about, um, it's got many different names and it's built on a lot of different things, but the, the simple version is plan, do, review, adjust. Raise your hand if you heard me say those four words before. Okay, cool. And I can't see everybody. I know some people got their video turned off. If you don't mind, turn your video on so that we can see you. And that's an important step that we do here. I know some people might be in a spot where it's not safe to do so. Or, um, but if you are and your camera's working, go ahead and have your video turned on. And that'll, that'll help this group out a lot. But plan, do, review, adjust. What is it? You come up with a plan. Then you execute the plan. Then you review what your results are. And then you make adjustments to the new plan. And now you've got a new plan and you go out and you execute it and then you review that and then you adjust that. And when you continuously do that, you will continuously improve. It sounds great. It's an amazing theory. It's absolutely bulletproof for a theory. The problem is not too many times does the review step actually occur. So you got to do the action. That's one thing. And then the review needs to occur. No problem, Rosalie. Thank you. So what I want you to do is, what, I, what we're gonna do in Power Hour is I want to review what you have done, okay? And who we're gonna start with on these calls is going to be the folks that have raised their hand after watching that 12 minute video and say that I'm all in for July. So the synopsis of the video was that 
we basically already got the trophy and it's a matter of who wants to have their name on the trophy for achieving goals in July. That goal is simply hitting J. If you're already a J, you're going to do it again. And that's three new people. Okay. The other thing that we're going to focus on is seven new customers. That's our ultimate goal. That is a Jade factory power play is what we call it. Three business partners, seven customers. I'm going to walk you guys through exactly what's necessary to do that. We're not just going to talk about it though. I want it there to be action. And the action has to be something that you do outside of this call. This call, I love it. Thank you very much, Mindy, for having that. This call is to review things that you have done working this business and us hearing it. And when you share this, a couple things are going to happen. This is going to be for y'all that know what the summit is. It's going to be similar in that vein and that we're going to be talking about what you've done and we're going to make adjustments to that. Now, where it's not like the summit is we're not going to do this seven days a week for seven weeks, go 50 straight days. And we're not going to do it at 10 o'clock at night. We're going to do it at nine o'clock at night and we're going to do it on Mondays and Thursdays. Now that said, what I also want to make sure that this continues is that the new people that are just joining have a place to ask questions. So we're still going to have question and answers. Anytime you got a question, anytime you jump on here, ask those. But the rest of the time is we're going to be going over what you have done and we're going to, I want the details. I want the nuts and bolts. He said, I said, then he said, then I said, and we're going to go through it with that. I don't need, and I want everybody to listen to this part because I'm going to interrupt you and I don't want you to think I'm being rude. I just got to make sure that this keeps flowing. So I don't need a 20 minute backstory about how you know the person and all that good stuff. I might ask a couple of questions on that. I need a sentence, maybe two sentences about this person. I don't need to know their life history. Okay. For your prospects. Okay. So I might interrupt you and say, Hey, let's get to it. What's, what did they say? And there's another part. It's real easy to fill in a lot of extra commentary when we're talking about this. Okay. It's real easy to talk about all the extra stuff. I just want to know what was said because that's the part that we're going to adjust. Okay. So that's how we're going to go about this. It's going to be a little bit of a change. And the other thing that I want to talk about is who is going, who I'm going to call on. I'm going to call on everybody that's on power hour. And I want you all to help me get the word out that the people that I expect to be on here are the ones that have raised their hand and said, I'm all in for July so that we can have those review periods. Okay. Now I also understand that Mondays and Thursdays doesn't work for everybody's schedule. And so for the people that aren't able to make this, I'm going to have one-on-one -on -one chats with them that raise their hand and said, put me on the list. So here's who we have on the list. First off, let's show that. I'm going to share my screen. All right, so here are the names that we have so far. If your name is not on here, a real simple fix for that is you simply post out in Kayani Local and you say the words, I'm all in for July, okay? And so these are the people that we're gonna be focused on and I'm gonna make sure that I am talking to every single one that wants to be on the trophy. And you see, we still got slots. And here's a neat little thing is that I promise you, I will not run out of slots on the trophy. If we need to have 60 people on there, we will. If we need to have 70, we will. If it's just gonna end up at 36, then we're gonna run with 36. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show each and every single one of the people that are on here, what it takes, how to do it. And if you will follow me, if you will do what I say to do, if you are coachable and you are hungry for this, I guarantee you we will reach this goal. It's that easy. That's a bold statement and I get it. I don't say it lightly. I don't make guarantees unless it's something that I can back up. I can back this one up. Now, you just need to do your part, and that's the key of what this is. I have Adam on there twice. Thank you very much. I thought I had him on there, and I didn't see it, and now I see it twice. Thank you, Mindy. I will make an adjustment to that. Okay, so make sure your name's on there. If your name's not on there and you want it to be on there, let me know. Now, some of you might be a little concerned and nervous about stepping up and saying, man, he's kind of intense. And if I tell him I'm going to do something, I pretty much kind of have to do it. Yep. That's how I roll. But here's what I want you to not do. I don't want you to get in your own head. Some of y'all have already started doing that. Some of you are already in your head. Going, I don't know if I can do this. What all does this require? What does this take? 
It takes you being committed to the process. That's all it takes. Doesn't mean you got to be successful. Here's the deal. The way that you get successful is you fail a whole bunch of times. You're not going to be successful every single time you talk to somebody. I'm going to show you how that doesn't matter. You're not going to execute every single one of these perfectly. I'm going to show you how that doesn't matter. Not everybody that you talk to, this is newsflash for some of y'all, not everybody that you're going to put us in contact with wants to do this business. That's okay. I'm going to show you how that's the case. All you need to do is commit that, Casey, I'm willing to follow the process. I'm willing to focus and take the action that you're saying. I'm willing to get out of my own way and follow what you've set up in this factory. I'm going to report in to the factory. I'm going to put my goggles on. I'm going to put my safety vest on. I'm going to put my steel toe, steel toe shoes on. I'm going to walk into your factory. And I'm going to do just as you say. I'm not going to bring all my nonsense with me. I'm not going to bring all the thoughts on how I think this needs to go. I'm actually going to not say, I know. Those words aren't allowed. I'm simply going to come in and be a piece of clay and get formed into what it is I've got to do to be successful in this business because I'm sick and tired of watching all these other people get promoted and I'm not getting promoted. That's what I want you to say. That's what I want you to do. That's all we're going to do. So if you can handle that, you're welcome. You are absolutely welcome to be a part of this group on what we're going to do. If that scares you or you're not quite sure, you need to have a chat with me. Have the chat with me. Reach out to me. Let me know. Say, hey, I've had several chats with several people today. A little nervous about what this was all about before they go saying yes. And I respect that because it lets me know that your word means a lot to you. Okay. I'm not quite sure who took over control of that, but that was a neat trick. All right. Ed, I think you are sharing your screen somehow. I'm not quite sure how you did that. Let me. Okay. There we go. We're back. So that's what it means if you want to be all in for July. That's all there is to it. So with that said, does anybody have any questions right now? If you do, unmute yourself or post it in the chat session. Everybody good right now? See a lot of heads going up and down. Good. Mindy, you got a question? Yes, sir. I'm working on my list and I know I need four pages filled out, but I don't want to just put random people in there. I want real people. What if I don't have quite 20 right off the top of my head right to begin with? You got one of these? Yeah. How many names does it have in it? It's got a several names in it, but remember, I've been in for a year. It's I've been through a lot of the names in there. That's what I said. I don't want to just put random people in there. Here's the deal. Is it okay to go back to people that I've started with that had some interest that kind of fell out, that never went in? 100%. 100%. Okay. Here's what I here let me let me frame this up. Let me fantastic question and let me frame this up because some people don't know what you're talking about for this sheet. So let me introduce this sheet real fast. That's a perfect segue and then I will answer that question uh, as well. So here's what we're talking about. Oh, I need to stop that. And okay, this is the plan on a page. This is the document that she is referring to. This is what everybody, not everybody, a lot of people are holding up that they're working on. You need this file. It's a PDF file. It should be one of the easiest things to print out. And you need to print this out and need four of these to start with. Okay, not one, not two, not three, not five, four. Why four? Because four of those times five names across here is going to be 20 names, and that's what we're going to start with. Mindy's asking, what do I do about putting these names in here? Whose name should I go? Here's the ideal approach on how I would like this handled. First is I want you to put names of people that you have not talked to about this yet. That's the, that's the preference. If you're brand new or just getting started and you haven't gone through everybody, that's the names that I want you to put on there. 
if you've been in for a while, and Mindy's been in for over a year. She's a, what, what level are you again, Mindy? Pearl? Yeah, she's a pearl. Yeah. So she's done very well, and she's got some people in her organization, and that's awesome. And she's ready to take it to the next level, so she's going to want to get some names in here. Now, if you don't have any names, first off is look through again. Don't take that. That's an easy way out sometimes. I'm not saying it's not an accurate statement, but I also know that nine times out of ten, I can sit there with somebody and in a little bit have 20 new names in there after a little bit of work. So don't take the easy route out that you just talk, keep talking to the same 20 people all the time. But if it's been a long time since you've talked to them, and I mean a long time defined as probably six months or more, and there was some level of interest at that time, by all means, it's worth reaching out to them because most people's lives change every 90 days anyway. Those are the names that are going to go across here. Okay? So that's what we want to get filled out. The homework for everybody that's participating in this is that I want you to have this top part filled out first. These are your desires. And then I want you to have these five names filled out. And I want you to do that times four. Four pages. Well, Casey, do I need to write everything that's in this box in, this, in the other box on the other page? Yes, you do. Casey, that's stupid. That's a waste of time. No, it's not. Please hear me on that. Write that down again. Start getting in the habit of writing it down. Do you know how many times I wrote down what occurred on Saturday? I've been writing that down for months. It is zero coincidence that that actually occurred on Saturday. Did I know how it was going to go down? Not a, not a clue. I just knew it was going to go down. Why? Definite sense of purpose of what goes into this box. Keep writing it. Make it where it's all you think about. Well, Casey, that's ridiculous. If your dreams are ridiculous to you, you need to write it down 10 times. Write it down every day. It needs to not be ridiculous. It needs to be absolutely crystal clear in your mind. Nothing on this page was put by happenstance. Everything on here was absolutely put in a very specific spot. This right here at the top of the page is it. If you don't fill this out, don't even waste your time filling out the rest of the boxes. And I wholeheartedly mean that. Fill this box out, your why, your desires. Fill out a list of names. Now, here's where everybody messes up when they start writing names in here. You start doing what's called prejudging. We're not here to prejudge. We're not here to make a decision for somebody else, to decide their future. That's not it. We are here to give them possibilities. We are here to plant seeds. We are here to influence people into taking a look at something by talking to another person. We're not here to show them a business. We're not here to show them a product, as crazy as that may sound to you. Some of you keep hearing me say that and you're not experiencing that. You still get in a conversation where you start talking about a business. When I know you're doing that because when they get on the phone with me, you're introducing them saying they want to know more about the business. They shouldn't know a damn thing about a business. But that's where we're going to do the review. I want you guys to question me. I want you to say, Casey, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. And I want to keep making it where you experience it in the review sessions so that you get it. If you'll get that, I promise you, you'll watch your business explode. If you keep not getting it, you will keep being frustrated. That I promise. So the homework by tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. You need to have four of these pages printed out. You need to have 20 names filled out. And if you want to be a rock star and get bonus points, you can go ahead and start filling out the next section too. But don't get down there until you've gotten 20 names written down first. And your why, your desires, written down on four different pages. And then number these one, two, three, and four. That's what the homework is. If you can't handle that, I don't know how to make this any simpler. This might not be for you. <laughs> <clears throat> that was my attempt at humor. If you're not quite sure how to fill that out, if you're not quite sure what goes in there, get with me. Please get with me. That's the next step. 
looking ahead on what we're going to discuss on Thursday is the information that's going to go into the bio and the phone number. That's just their bio, a little something you know about them. And then you must make sure you write down their phone number down below. Well, Casey, I don't know their phone number. Can I still put their name in here? Yes. You got to do some detective work and figure out their phone number, ask around, get their phone number. We need the phone number. You need to have that written in here so that that's showing. The next thing here on the rapport step, this is what you think their big thing is. You think they're interested in wealth, not what you're interested in. What you're interested in goes up here in the top box. A lot of y'all, what you put in this top box, you just assume that everybody else wants this for their box. That's one of the first issues. You think this is about you. It's not about you. It's about this person, this person, this person, this person, and this person times four. That's all this is about. You figuring out them, you paying attention to them, you learning about them, you asking questions about them. Not about you talking about a business, not about you fixing their problems. That's not what you do. You just need to find out about them. That's your steps to do. Find out about their wealth and see if there's an issue there. Find out about their health. Find out about their time freedom. Find out about their charity and significance. Once you think you've got it, you can put a check mark here. You can have more than one check mark, obviously. You can have all four. And whatever the big thing is that you think of and you find out about, write that down to help your memory down the road. That's what you're going to be working on. I don't want to get too far in this because I don't want to freak anybody out. I don't want anybody to get completely lost. That's what we're going to be doing. So by Tuesday, your homework is you have this page printed out four times. Your why, your desires is filled out on each of the four pages, number the pages, and write down 20 names of human beings that you know. And these human beings need to still be alive. They need to be able to fog a mirror. Okay? All right. So there's a question on the why. Can it be multiple whys on each page or the same? It can absolutely be multiple things. If that's not enough room for you to write it on page one, use page two, three, four as well. And keep writing those down. Every time you print one of these, you're gonna write it in there. Is it gonna change? Absolutely. It can change daily, or it can be so crystal clear to you that it doesn't change for years. That's okay, that's part of the process. That's part of figuring out what you desire. Okay, any questions on what homework is? Who here is already done with that step? Awesome. When you're done with that step, here's how you get a check mark in the box that you got it done. I need you to grab one of these little fellas. I need you to take a picture of each one of those pages. I need you to send me a messenger. Do not text this to me. Okay, I'm, I'm very serious about this. Make sure you don't text it to me. Send it via messenger. Because I'm going to do things with it on the computer to be able to keep up with it. And doing it through text is not going to work. Send me four pictures. One for each. If you have more pages that you want to do, you can send more of those. My preference is you just send four of them to me and we'll start with those four right now. Okay. Send that to me directly. Don't put it in the Kayani Local or Power Hour or any of the group chats. Send it to me to a one-on-one -on -one message to Casey Salji when you get that filled out. You're going to continue sending me updates of those pages. That's how you're going to keep up with what's going on. I want you to scribble in the margins. I want you to be able to write what's going on on that plan on a page. When you're having chats with them, when the next step needs to be, those types of things. I want you to use that and make it a worksheet. Okay? So don't feel like it's got to stay within the boxes and within the margins. Get crazy with it. Make it where it's legible. That would be helpful so that I can help you. Okay? So that's what you need to do. That's your homework. You need to have that to me before 11.59 p.m. Central, right before midnight, going from Tuesday into Wednesday night, okay? All right, so who here has been using the plan on a page already? Please raise your hand. Awesome, all right. For the people that have used the plan on a page, I would like some examples. I would like for you to grab yours if you have it handy, and I want to 
have you kick us off and tell me some examples of some discussions that you have had with people while building rapport, peaking interest, and I wanna dig into this and I wanna get crystal clear on an experience so that not only will the people that have done this get some feedback, but you all that are on here will be able to live vicariously through them because you've all probably done some of the same things or it's gonna get you thinking in that fashion. So who would like to volunteer? An example, an experience, Karen. Awesome, thank you, ma'am. So here's okay, how. You want, a, you want an easy one or a hard one? Uh, let's start with an easy. Let's get warmed up. Okay. Okay. Here's an easy one. Uh, Steve. Um, he was. Um, okay. So I I called him today and we got into a discussion. Found out he uh, had had some surgery, had some infections, and is interested in the product. Or I, I basically said I had something that might help him. And he said uh, he'd like to hear more about it. And so I added him to wellness simplify or wellness from the inside out. Very good. Let's dig in a little bit deeper now. That's good for kind of a framing it up, letting everybody know. How do you know Steve? Uh, we worked together at one time, a long time ago. Okay. How long has it been since you talked with Steve? Uh about eight, nine months. Okay. First thing I want everybody to think of, oh, well, I haven't talked to these people in ages. This is going to be weird. Karen hasn't talked to this guy for eight months. When you're having that conversation, again, we don't need to go into a 30-minute dissertation here, but a little bit more in the detail on kind of in the beginning how you started the conversation and then fast forward into the part where what was some of the questions that you asked that got this information to come out? Well, I actually reached out to him because I ran into his brother and his sister-in-law a few weeks ago, and I just remembered that I hadn't talked to Steve in a while, so I reached out to let him know I had run into his brother and asked him how he was doing. What did he say when you said, how are you doing? Well, he said, well, I had to have some more surgery again, and so I said, well, what happened? And so he started telling me what happened, and I was real, like, real quick, pause right there. Real quick pause right there. It's been eight months since you talked to this guy, and it sounded like pretty quickly into the conversation by you saying, hey, I ran into your brother. How you been? How long did it take until he started talking about his health? That was the first thing that, that's the first thing he said. First he didn't really thing. even ask about his brother or sister-in-law. He just went into what he was dealing with. I want everybody to understand the power of that right there. And Karen, did we set this up or have any chat about you? Okay, just no, so. No, no. Uh, so that's why I said this one was an easy one. I, 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 this didn't go like this for everybody else I talked to today. Absolutely. But sometimes people, when, and especially if you got some bad health things, that's the first thing. Why? Because yeah. it's all that is going on in your head. Your little terrorist is constantly talking about all the stuff going on with the health. When you don't feel good, you don't think of anything else but that. It is so difficult to get outside of that. So first thing she says, boom, it triggers, he's not feeling good. All right, so keep going, Karen. What were some of the things that he mentioned on the health side? Uh, just that he had to have some oral surgery. Um, he's got some infection going on. Um, otherwise, his business is growing great. He loves what he's doing right now. Um, no um, recreational activities right now going on because of you know having to stay home and also another thing that triggered me on the health side is because he's having to he really can't um, it's it's oral surgery in his mouth so he really can't uh, he's lacking nutrition because he can't really eat the same things that he used to be able to eat so he was talking about shakes that he was drinking and what he was doing there and so it really just made me I just asked more and more and it just sounded like he needed some nutritional supplements. So beautiful. So if you're looking at your plan on the page, she's got a name in there named Steve. She's got a bio, knows a guy from work, ran into brother. That's the extent of what she puts in the, the bio, has a phone number on there, reaches out. Which box did she need to check while talking to him? The health box. Also, key thing she mentioned there, work's going good, loves what he's doing. It ain't about wealth right now. Does that mean it can be down the road? Absolutely, 100%. But right now, that's not what's on his mind. 
doesn't matter that Karen wants a new business partner. I promise you Karen wants a new business partner, just like every single person on here wants a new business partner. It ain't about you. It's not about Karen. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about Steve. And Steve's big thing right now is health. So you go into health mode. So here's, this is where we're going to have a little fork in the road. If you don't know how to get a customer, if you're not clear on that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to ask Steve, you want to fix that? And if he does, then you're going to point him to a guy. You're going to say, I need you to talk to my guy. What's he going to do? He's going to show you how to get clear on that, how to get that fixed up. Now, if you do know how to get a customer, and Miss Karen is amazing at getting customers, what you can do is, Karen, what did you do next? I asked him if it would be okay if I added him to a private Facebook group uh, that would give him some information about something I thought might help him. What did he say to that? He said, sure. That's not hard. Does it work that way every single time when you ask somebody if they want to fix that do, or if they want to get added to a group? Does everybody say yes to that? No. no. No, because some of them aren't even on Facebook. So, yeah. And that's okay. But in this case, yes, boom, done. That's going to be the next step. So what is that effectively doing? That's taking it away from her. Karen's not a medical doctor. Steve knows that she's not a medical doctor. She's a genius in IT, but she's not in medical plain and simple. So she's not going to try and sit there and try to explain all the good stuff about it. Can do it from a perspective of, hey, this has worked great for me and I'm making a recommendation and you know me and you trust me. That's about the extent of what we're going to do. And then she's going to pass it to an expert. Who's the expert? Wellness from the inside and out. Going to get them on there, going to tag them, going to tag them on the main video that talks about the product and then tag them on any uh, post that would relate to their situation. Anybody have any questions about those steps? Anything not clear? Anybody not quite sure what they would do if they were in the same boat with that? Casey? Yes. You said tag them in a video. Do you mean send the video from Kiny Pro? No, there's, there, I, I can assure you there will be nothing that I talk about that will come from Kayani Pro in July. So good question. Let me show you what I mean by that. Wonderful question, actually. Let me share my screen. In Facebook, there is a group that's called Wellness from the Inside and Out. It's got 70,000 members. Seventy three thousand seven hundred and eighty people. What we need to do is we need to add this person, Steve, as a member of this group. So Karen is most likely friends with Steve. So Karen starts typing in Steve's name and then finds Steve and chances are Stephen Rice right here and he'll say something friend since or it'll say already a member. Chances are it's not gonna say already a member because they're not in this group yet. You're getting ready to add them. So when you click on that, that's gonna add them into the group. It's gonna actually put them in a request queue. When that happens, you want to post in Kayani Local and say, hey, I've added such and such. Would somebody please go in and approve them? One of the leaders will go in and approve them and say, that's been done. Then what you do is you come in and you look for the pinned post. If you're doing it on mobile, you got to click the little pin button. Otherwise, it's this one. See where it says pin post? Once the person has been added and they've been approved, you will then be able to tag people on different posts in this group. So you would go to comment to this pin post and you would start typing that person's name that was just approved. When you do that and they're in here, it's gonna show up with a blue link. When I hit enter on this, Alicia who's actually on this chat with us right now, this would show up in her Newsfeed. 
in her notifications, she will see that she's been tagged in a post. That's how it'll show up at the top of somebody's information so that they can go in and look at that. When they do, they click on that, it pops up this page, this post, they can hit play, and it's gonna tell them about the video, it'll be the video talking about the product. And they'll be able to see that. Good nutrition goes much further. Than then you've got a professional video that's seven minutes and eight seconds long that's going to tell them all about the product, not you. This is the expert, not you. You know a guy, this video. The other thing that's gonna happen in here is you can do a search, search this group. Whatever you type in there, it's gonna search through, Facebook will search through that. For Karen, were there any, uh, what, what did you do a search for? I, I just searched on infections and brought that up. So if you do a search on infection, then a whole bunch of stuff comes up. What I do is it's gotta have at least 200 comments for me to wanna tag somebody in there. That's just me. And what that means is a lot of people have done a lot of work for me that they've already looked at this and 216 people liked it because they made a comment to tell one of their friends about it. Not saying that the ones that have 99 comments aren't good. I'm lazy, I'm in a hurry, I'm gonna find something that's got 99 comments or more and then I can add them. How do I add them? I go into the comment here, I read what it is, make sure it's gonna to apply to them and then you go into comments and then you type their name again underneath the comment field. At the bottom of me scrolling forever, here we go and you tag their name in here. Notice how Colby got tagged, Nicole got tagged, Betty got tagged, Erica got tagged. Now notice how Jamie didn't get tagged because Jamie's not in this group. So that's why you have to make sure they're added and you gotta make sure they get approved or when you put that name in there, they're not gonna see it because they're not a part of the group. Now, what could have happened there that was five weeks ago. Somebody could have been in, they could have looked at it, and then they have get, gotten themselves out of the group if they weren't interested. That would be an example of why that might not be showing up right there. Sharon, does that make sense? Yes, it does. I, I didn't realize about, I knew about Wellness Inside Out, not the video though, there. I've never seen anybody in the video. Yeah, it works great just to be able to get them some basic information so that you don't have to sit there and try to explain it to them. Okay, I've always gotten a Kiny Pro and send them videos from there. And I'm not saying that there's any problem with that. If you want to do that, do that. I don't have any problem with anybody using that. I don't use it. That's all there is it's, to it. Casey, it's the same video that is in Kiny Pro. Okay. Yeah, but this way you're getting it notified from Facebook, which is good. Yep. And another thing is if they're not in Facebook, that's a nice alternative if you want to figure that out on being able to send it that way. Another thing that you can do is you'll notice that when I clicked on that, it takes you to this page. You copy that link and you send that link to people if they don't have Facebook. Right. Another thing, if they don't have Facebook, you go in here and you do something in your uh, computer called the snipping tool. And you click on that. This is built into Windows. You hit new and you highlight whatever you want to snip. You copy that and then you can paste that. And you can send that to them in a text message, email, smoke signal, whatever you want to be able to do. So as an example, you can go in here. Somebody that doesn't have Facebook, I know it's kind of redundant since I'm in Messenger, but you're gonna get the idea. I simply paste it in there. I hit enter. And all it is is a picture of what I just took a screenshot of in a specific area. Now, obviously, you wanna go in there and click that see more button and get it to open all the way up so they get the entire text of it and then you copy that whole part that you want and then you can send that to them. Okay, so a couple of alternatives there. Awesome, Karen, let's do another example. Okay, um, yeah, this is, a, this is a good one. Um, 
So, uh, Steve, uh, he's a, a friend. I haven't talked to him in probably maybe a year. What's the uh, name? Steve. Another Steve? Yeah, actually another Steve. Nice work. And just uh, so everybody knows, they don't all have to be named Steve. I don't no, want anybody they to don't, and that just kind of happened. I was really going to talk to Steve's wife, but Steve worked out answering, so I'm talking to him. Um, okay, so um, we went back and forth, and then he kind of went silent on me, and then he came back today saying, sorry, he was busy, but what time? Let me back up, Casey. I'm sorry. So I called him. No, I didn't call him. I was texting with him and yep. Lisa. And um, and the reason was I stopped to see them Friday, Saturday night, just stopped by there in the neighborhood, visited with them for a while, and was just talking to them. And there was conversations about not having enough money and needing the fence done and some other stuff done. So I was. Did you talk, you know, to, them? Did you talk to them right then and there when you visited with them? Did you start explaining how you no, had business? No, them no, I didn't even, didn't even go there. <laughs> I just was listening to what they were saying, um, getting an update on some health issues, and then the whole thing about the needing money for this and that came up. And I, I didn't say anything really at all. I didn't say that anything That is at all. masterful. Just so I want to pause right there, Karen. That is masterful. When you're having conversations with people and they start telling you about how their life's going and they start sharing stuff like that with you, be a friend. Listen to the stuff. You don't have to give them the answer to it right then and there. Because if you're not, if you don't execute it perfectly, you come across as the guy that hears that, and then all of a sudden you're trying to get them to start a new business with you. That's okay. not because you because you don't go about it correctly. For one, you start hinting, you start mentioning things about business and this and that and the other, and you're not making it about them. You're making it about them getting in your business, and that can be misconstrued as you're trying to do that for you. And people will tell that story. And then they will not talk to you for a while and you'll go into the NFL, no friends left list. You don't want that. So what Karen did is she was over there and she was a great listener. Was she making mental notes? Yes. Why was she doing it? She wants to help them. I know all of you want to help your people as well, but the way you come across in those situations, when you start talking about a business is you sound like the sales guy, at the department store and that's not what we want to do she did it perfectly and just listen she she's she's building a, a, a CIA file an FBI file on them you know mentally she's not taking notes right hey let me write all that down no just get the big yeah. things and just be present with them and when you do that you're not worried about trying to figure out how to word this just right back to them where you didn't listen to them because people will know when you're not listening to them when you're formulating, ooh, information, klaxons going off, dollar signs, they literally feel like a piece of meat because you're looking at them like, I am getting ready to tear them up. They'll feel that. I may have, I've made the joke before with Chili Willie the Penguin where they're all stuck on the Antarctic and everybody looks like a, a chicken bone to them. That's not what you want to look at your friends like that. You want to hear what they're saying. You want to empathize with them, and then you want to move on. And that's what Karen did. So that was on Saturday. Then what happened? Uh, so then today I just sent him a text saying, hey, thanks for Saturday. And uh, hey, did uh, you mentioned something about money was tight now. Did you want to fix that? I know a guy. And then he, then he came back and uh, said, uh, problem is not having any money. And then just laugh out loud. And so I said, I know a guy that can help with that too and then okay so then he says okay it sounds like we need to discuss this and I said no I can set you up a set you up on a three-way with with my guy and he can and he can give you all the information and answer all your questions then he came back later tonight and said hey super busy hectic day at work today would like to call you tomorrow to hear exactly um, this opportunity may be about blah 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 what time's a good time for me to call you tomorrow and I haven't responded to him because I'm like, okay, I, now, what? now what do I do? Yep, perfect. So here's the deal. Don't have a problem talking with your friend. They want to talk. They're your friend. It's not time for you to go into, you know, a cave somewhere. Now's the time for you to be there for them. Okay. But here's a key thing. 
it is not time for you to explain what's going on with this thing. It's very, very easy, very easy to tell somebody, I'm not the person to tell you about it. I don't know all the details of it. He does. All I want you to do is have a discussion with him. Let him hear what's going on. Let him tell you what he does and see if there's anything there for you. You are not a part of that. You're there as the friend. You're there as the trust. You have to keep that intact. Casey, I'm just going to tell him a little bit, though. Just, just a little bit. I swear this time will be different. I'm only going to say two things. And you I don't the, know. I don't have all the information. You got to talk to the guy. That's it. And here's the deal. This is where you got, this is, this is going to be a little different for y'all. You haven't exercised this muscle before. They're going to want to know information and you're going to have to get stern with them and say, if I tell you, I'll do it wrong. I don't know all the details. You've been talking about wanting to fix your issue. Why do you not want to have a conversation with this guy? Have a real conversation with them. Find out what they are so afraid of having a discussion with another human being. I promise you this guy is here for you. He's here so that you'll win. Have that conversation with them. Now, even after that, are there going to be some people that don't want to get on the phone with me? Of course. Here's what you do. This is your secret weapon. There is a 33-minute video called, I Know a Guy. Have them watch that video. Say, look, here's the deal. I'll do you one better. If you really want to know what this thing's about and you don't want to talk to him on the phone, I think you're an idiot, but I love you, and I want to see you get clear of this issue, here's the next best thing I can do. Watch this video. It's 33 minutes. It'll change your life. Now they have two options. They can talk, well, they got more than that, but from ways of getting in contact with me, they can talk to me on the phone or they can watch a video. What's my preference? I want them to watch the video. I don't want to talk to everybody. I'll just be straight up honest with you. I ain't got that type of time. I will make that time, but there's a lid to it. That's why the video has been made. That's why the video was recorded the way it was. That's why the video is crushing it right now literally somebody watched it. I think Joanne was it who was it you that had somebody that did it they literally watched I can't remember if it was her or she, yeah it was, it was. <clears throat> literally watched it watched that I know a guy right after that they wanted more information they watched the presentation video and they joined 599 done and since then already sponsored another person now what are their other options they can choose not to talk to me and they can choose not to watch a video and they can choose to continue to stay broke. That's their call. That's easy. No problem. Here's what's going to happen when, when that occurs, let's show what that looks like. Oops. We so, lost you for a minute, Casey. How about now? Yeah, now we can hear you. So how this is what this looks like. Here's Steve number one. That's the guy that's got the uh, infection issue going on. We got a check mark right here for health. And does he want to fix that? Yeah, he does. Great. Edifying pass to who? It's going to go to wellness from the inside and out. No need for a three-way chat on that one. Steve number two. Bio, neighbor, him and Lisa looking for extra money. Talk to him on Saturday. There's phone number. On the rapport box, which one is it? It's wealth. Maybe time freedom as well, but definitely wealth. You want to fix that? What do he say? Yes. Then what happens? Time to edify. She hasn't done that step yet. She knows a guy. We're getting ready to figure out, is it going to a video or is it going to me? 
So that's where she's at right now in the process. She's on the peak step. There's a check mark to yes. They want to fix it. What's the next step? Next step is have a conversation. She can write all that right down the line there. And then she knows where she's at with that person. That's the steps that we're going to be doing in this business. That's all you do. Once the edification has been done, you want to talk to the guy? Yeah, you know what? I, I, I want to talk to him. How do we set that up? Real simple. Steve, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you're on, you're on Messenger, right, Steve? Yeah, I use Facebook. I'm on Messenger. Now I'm going to set up a chat that's going to have you and him in this chat session. I'm going to introduce you to, and then he can figure out a good time to chat with you. How's that sound? Sounds good. Or they can say, doesn't sound good at all. I hate Messenger. I don't use Facebook in any form. Say, great, Steve, no problem. I'm going to set this up in a three-way text. You know how to use a text message, right, Steve? Sure do. Cool. Never had anybody say no to that one. Right. Now, here's why we do it that way. That way, you don't have to get in the middleman as the middleman to set up a timing that works between me and Steve. You don't want to be on that game. You want to be able to edify me. You want to be able to pass it to me, and then I'll set up the phone call. And we'll go back and forth, Steve and I, to be able to find a time that allows us to be able to do that. If Steve doesn't want to talk to me on the phone, then you're going to send him the link to the video and say, Steve, would you watch this video instead? Yes, I will. What do I need to do? Let me send you the link. Okay, sounds good. Send it on over. Here's a key step. Everybody pay attention on this one. Key step when that happens, anytime they get a video they need to watch, you need to ask this question. Steve, I'm going to send this over. When are you going to be able to watch it? Everybody write that down. When are you going to be able to watch it? He's going to say later. Say, Steve, that's not going to work for me. What day are you going to watch? Are you going to watch it tonight? Are you going to watch it tomorrow? Here's why we do that. Because when they, somebody says they're going to watch it, it goes into that list of things that they're going to get to someday. And y'all have all got one of those lists. It's right where the honeydew list goes. It's right where that thing that your spouse asks you to do and, and all those wonderful things go in there along with laundry and dishes. Y'all know that list. That's not the high priority list. So you got to get it on the front burner. You got to get it on the hot list. When are you going to watch it? I'm going to watch it tonight. You serious? Because you said you were excited about this thing. You're going to watch this thing? I'm going to watch it. You're going to watch it tonight? I'm going to watch it tonight. Cool. What time? This is the next question. What time are you going to watch it? I don't know. Well, let me know. Why do you need to know? Because I need to be able to follow up with you. I'll get with you. No, you won't. Just like you haven't done anything with this. You're my friend. I'm here for you. I'm going to make sure you actually watch this video and do what you say because we need to help you get out of this situation. Keep turning it back on them on why you're doing this. It's for them, not for you. I'm going to watch it at 8 o'clock tonight. Make sure 8 o'clock sounds realistic. If you know they got dinner at 7, they ain't going to watch it at 8. You got to get the kids to bed. You got to do all these things. Okay. Then what you do is you let them know when you get finished with that video, if you were going to watch it at 8, it's going to take 33 minutes. I'm going to call you at 834. Man, what's wrong with you? Why are you so crazy about this? For the minute for you. You're my friend. I want to help you with this. Okay. What are you going to do when you call them back? Did you get a chance to watch that video? Sure did. Don't ask them what they think. Write that on your paper. Put a big X through it. What do you think? Ask them, what did you like best? And then listen. Don't fill in the blanks for them. What did you like best? When they get done telling you that, say, I like that too. What else did you like? When they get done saying that, say, I like that too. What else did you like? You keep saying that until they run out of things that they like. Now, at the end of that video, that's the, that's the progression. That's how you go about giving somebody the video and what do you do and when you do it afterwards. When they finish that video, they're going to want more information or they're not going to want more information. If they don't want more information, find out why. 99% of the time, the reason they don't want more information is that they didn't pay attention to the information that was given to them. Why? Because it's more information. And we talked about that earlier. We don't pay attention to information. 
they were distracted or they're in their own head. You need to find out why they said no. Stand up for them. Well, Casey, they can say no. Absolutely, but you're here to find out for them. You're here to help them. You're making this about them. You don't want them to walk away from yet another opportunity and still be in the same situation that they're in. So you, you don't want to see more information. Do you mind me asking why? Oh, I don't have time to do this. Obviously, when they say that, you say, obviously, you didn't pay attention to the video. What do you mean? They're going to get defensive. Good. Put them on the defensive. So if you paid attention to that, you would have realized that it's not about time. You think right now you're in your own head. You're not paying attention. You discounted what they're talking about because you're in your own head that you don't have time. That is a stupid excuse. Again, this is hard talk. This is your friend that you're speaking with. It would be like somebody saying, I just had a heart attack, but I'm going to keep smoking cigarettes and I'm going to keep eating uh, pizzas and burgers and all of that. You can say, yeah, yeah, absolutely you can. Or you can care about them and say, well, that's pretty damn stupid because all that's doing is getting you in the exact same spot that you're in right now. If you want to do that, that's cool. It's your choice. But it's my choice to be able to call you out and tell you that that's stupid because I love you. Some of you won't do that. I'm okay with that. Move on to the next person. If you're at a point with that person where you can do that, do so. That's called standing up for somebody. That's getting it out of your comfort zone. Is that comfortable? Hell no. That's not comfortable one bit, having to have that conversation with another human being. Is it your place to do so? You decide. If you don't think it is, then it's not. Is it hard? Yes. Do you do it anyway? Depends on what frame of mind you're in. If it's about you and your awkwardness, you won't do it. If it's about your friend and you're going to stand up for him, you will. Could you possibly lose a relationship over that with somebody? Yes. If they're so stuck in their head that they're going to make that be the thing, they can absolutely have a reaction to that. That is a negative reaction. Have you ever known somebody really well and they flip their ever living mind? Because certain things are so tied into their personality, they've come up with such a story in their head that they will fight you like out of nowhere. Next. They're not ready. Don't just give up at the first, at the first no, but they're not ready. Is anybody confused or is that clear? If you're confused, say so. Okay, see, I think one thing that would help people as well is that when you do make that first initial call, don't make that be the all call where you're trying to get them as a business partner, that first conversation. It yeah. should be texting them, finding out about them. And if it takes another two or three days or they put something on Facebook, then you can go at them with that. That's the one thing I found out that's helped a lot is that first initial see. phone call, I'm planting a seed. And then <laughs> go and figure out if they say something and then write it down from there and then maybe hit them back another time. Let me be clear on the planting the seed part though. Your job for everybody is not to plant the business seed in their mind. Not your job. You're not there to do that. You're there to plant the seed of change. You're there to find out what they've got going on and if they want to address that. That's planting a seed. A lot of y'all will hear what David just said, and he is absolutely 100% accurate, but you will take that and you will mean that, you will take that to mean that you need to start telling them a little bit of information. You need to start dropping some hints about a business or they need to get a business or it, you, you come across so inauthentic when you, do come, when you do come out and get them on the phone and they finally see the big reveal, you're going to lose a lot of clout with them. If you're over here dropping all these hints left and right, you need to be able to absolutely go to your grave with them not knowing what it is that you're offering. You don't, you don't want to say anything about business. You just simply hamburger method, kind of, but no. I think hamburger method goes too far into dropping too many hints. You're trying to get them to ask you about your business. The way that we've set it up is so that's not the approach. It, it's the hamburger almost from a perspective of 
my job, me, Casey, I'm going to be the one doing the other side of the hamburger method. If that makes sense. Your job is not to drop little hints with them on it. Your job is to simply make it solely about them. And then your job is to explicitly ask them, do they want to fix it? Not beat around the bush to see if they come out and say if they want to fix it or not. It's like, hey, what do you got going on? If they just ask that right off the bat, say, I got something you need to take a look at. What is it? I need to put you in touch with my guy. No, I want you to tell me. I'm not going to. That's all there is to it. I'm not going to tell you. It's top secret, baby, and you ain't got clearance. That's all there is to it. I got to vet you. I got you. I got to have you talk to my guy to see if you even get to hear some of this information. That's the approach that we're going with it. Some people, when you drop that hint, man, they, it, it frames it differently in their head. And that's not what we're trying to do. It, it screws with it. It's not the factory way. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you like this format. Okay, cool. Very good. We will continue with this. All right, so homework for everybody. Four pages, print it out, plan on the page. Make sure you've got your desires, your why. Do that four times. Number it one through four on the pages. And then 20 names. And if you want extra credit, make sure you fill out the bio and the phone number. Take a picture of each one of those pages, send that to me in messenger only. And if you haven't yet watched the video for the 12 minute video, watch that. And then let me know in Kayani local or in power hour, depending on what you have access to or send it to me directly. That's fine too. That I'm all in for July. All right. Some quick announcements before we wrap it up. And then I got to do an inoculation call for a gentleman for Mr. Eddie Blacknell and Mr. Cam Siraj. Um, on Thursday, for the folks in Houston, on Thursday, we're going to be doing a Road to Jade. That Road to Jade is gonna be held at the Spring Creek Barbecue on I-10, not all the way out to Katy, but we'll get that posted out for an address. We might even get crazy and make a flyer. So Thursday, I-10 near, it's further out past Highway 6. I think it's like Fry Road or something like that. Spring Creek Barbecue, 6.45 p.m. arrival time. We get started promptly at 7. If you want to eat, there's a separate room that we've got, and you'll see it's got a glass-enclosed wall. If you want to eat, you're on your own. Dinner's on you. But you can go ahead and get, uh, get food. You can eat there, be able to knock out two birds with one stone. We will be leaving there no later than nine o'clock. I'm going to be walking out at about 8.50 so that I can make sure that I get on power hour in time on the commute back. Okay. Second announcement. On Friday, the next day, which is the 6th, we're going to be doing a Spanish PBR at the exact same location. At the Spring Creek Barbecue on I-10 out in the Katy area, not all the way out to Katy, but uh, past Highway 6. Okay, now we gotta figure out who's actually doing the translation because I don't speak Spanish. I mean, I do enough to make it to the restroom and order a beer, but that's the extent of it. Okay, so we're working on that. We'll get that nailed down by game time. Third announcement, we are going to be having a regional in Houston for August. Okay. We're going to have a Friday night road to Jade event. It's going to be different than the way that I usually do them because it's going to be a combined group and Miss Sarah Ho is going to be leading that. And that's going to be at her apartment complex. She's rented out the entire lounge there. And we're going to be having that on Friday night at that location which is near um, Lakewood Church, best closest landmark. And then on Saturday, whatever that first Saturday, I think it's the 4th, I think it's Friday the 3rd and Saturday the 4th. 
Karen is uh, giving me a thumbs up on that. So the 4th of, of August, we're going to be at the Hilton for our regular regional. And that'll be all day Saturday. Okay. Fourth announcement. Orlando. If you're all in for July and you want to be able to keep moving this thing and you want to walk the stage in Orlando, you need to get that power play ran. That's one way of doing it. Making it to Jay is another or any rank above that, you'll be able to walk the stage. That's a huge thing. That's pretty cool. You got to get that done by July 31st because whatever rank that you achieve by that is going to be what you go into the convention recognized as. You want to make it to Ruby, get it done this month. Okay. Speaking of Orlando, ticket prices have gone up. If you have not yet gotten your tickets, they're $199. Like everybody's been saying, they're going to go up in price and they have gone up in price. You still have some options. If you're a brand new business partner, in the first 72 hours, you can get your ticket for the beginning price. I think it's 129. 99. 99. If you want, there is a special that they have where you can get a 10 pack of tickets for $1,099. That obviously comes out to 109.99. That's for anybody. So what you have to do is you need to get 10 of your favorite friends together, pull your money, one of you purchase it, and then whoever does the purchasing needs to will do the, handle the transfers and move that out to the other people. If you want to do that, you take that on. I'm out of the ticket buying business. I've been telling everybody to do it early. I used to do that many, many years ago. I don't mess with that anymore. It's too much of a hassle for me to handle it on a big scale with hundreds and thousands of people. Okay. If anybody wants to do that though, by all means, do that for a small group, do that for your group, figure that out, make sure that you get the money in hand. And then after you get all that, then you go purchase it. Okay. And then speaking of Orlando, if you're serious about your business going to the next level, I want to just put this quick plug in for going to the major events. And just like it's really easy for us to discount going to that event right now because of some reason that you've got in your mind, that's the same mentality of the people that want to fix their thing in their life, but they don't want to get on the phone with me or watch a video. They've already got it all figured out. I would like to talk to you directly and get you out of your own head and you find a way. Stop going with the negativity of why you can't go because that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Casey, I don't have the money to go. There are ways around doing that. You can get your ticket for 109 bucks. You can get a whole bunch of you people together and get a bus. You can make the price come out to about 100 bucks for travel. You can get an Airbnb or stay in a crappy little hotel, whatever you got to do, you can probably make it to that trip for 300 and something bucks, round trip, hotel included. Is it going to be staying at the Ritz? No, no, it won't be for that price. But if you want it, and I promise you, if you're on this, you want it. And if you want it bad enough, you will find a way to do it. Casey, I can't get off of work that. That's crap. You can't. In case you don't understand my situation, no, I understand that there are a thousand different ways to be able to make it happen. And all I want to do is call out that you have a choice. You have a choice in going or not going. Some of you might have other plans that are more important than going to this event. I get that. I'm not going to presume that I know more about your life and say, if you're really serious about da, 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 you'll be there. No, you will be. But I also know that there's other things that are more important than Kayani. I'm a big fan of you keep God first, you keep family second, and you make Kayani third. Keep them in that order. But I also know that there's sacrifices to be made if you want to hit those boxes that you're going to be filling out for homework in those top four pages. You make the choice of which one's more important. Once you've made that choice, then you make it happen. Be resilient, be persistent, and get yourself. Now, why is it that you should go? I promise you not a single person that has been successful in this business, in this profession, get that way by not going to the event. That I can tell you that. One piece of information that you hear, and it's not information. Let me say that differently. One experience you have at this event will change your entire life. 
That's speaking from experience myself. I know what these events have done for me. I know where I would be if I had not gone to the events. I went for a very long time not going to an event until I actually went to one. I was like, holy crap, why didn't somebody tell me? It wasn't it. I wasn't ready to experience it. If you're ready to experience it, get your ticket. And here's how you go about doing that for getting your ticket. You go ahead and go tell the world yes. You say yes. And you tell everybody you're going. And then you go figure it out. That's the order. That's how you do it. You try to do it in a different order, it ain't going to work. If you want it bad enough for this business, if you want to be successful in this thing, learn the damn boats. Make it happen. Casey, you don't understand? Yes, I do. I promise you I understand better than anybody on this call on how hard it is to be able to get to the events. I have been broke as a joke. I found a way to get to the events. I went on my anniversary to my first big event. I had a chat with my wife before I did so. Guess what? We were able to go to dinner the next day. We're still married, and in fact, we've had more kids since then, and she still loves me. Okay? So, you make a choice. Just don't blame it on anything else. That's the one thing I can't stand. You make a choice that you're not going to go, something's bigger than, than this, cool. No worries. But if this is the thing, if you know it's the thing, if you know there's nothing else that's the thing, then stop bouncing around burn your damn boats. This is going to be it or I'm going to be dead on the side of the hill trying. Go at it at that approach and it will change everything. I promise you. Definite sense of purpose. Cool. All right, everybody. Y'all have a great night. I'm going to unmute the line so y'all can say good night for those that I'm not going to see beforehand. Oh, and happy Canada Day for the folks up north and happy Independence Day for everybody here in the U.S. in the next couple days. We will see you all at the next Power Hour on Thursday, and hopefully we'll see you at the Road to Jade if you're in Houston. Thanks, everybody. Y'all have a good night. 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 Thanks, Casey. Thank you, Karen. Good night. Good night, everyone.